Shout out to my amazing subscriber Miriam Donko who drew my attention to a very important information now. Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. If you're new to this channel, you're highly welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so so much. I appreciate you all. So in this video, I'm going to I'm going to talk about this cream. This is fair and white. Um, so white, um skin perfetto, and it has uh, another one. So this particular cream is a uh, skin perfetto. Sometimes while your um your cream where your fair and white is not working for you is because you bought the other one. So this is skin perfetto. So when you are buying your cream, the truth in it is that they are different. They are different. They work differently. But if you don't know, you don't know. You might go to the shop to buy this one, and then you say, "Can I have fair and white?" And then you get that one. That one is just moisturized. I do sometimes people complain I got fair and white and it's not working for me. No, fair and white is not for me. Let me tell you, fair and white might be for you just because you got the other one, which is uh, body moisturized. In the UK, HQ is banned, likewise, every other EU country, even Japan and Canada. So, based on the research I made, I did find out that on US fair and white website, that Diaz contain HQ 1.9, whereas UK Fair and White does not contain any amount of HQ in it. So moving on, if you are in the UK and you got this cream here in the UK, and you are sure you got it from a reputable website, um, the possibility that it does not contain any amount of HQ is there. And this is because of the harmful and long-term effect it has on the body. Unless it's only your doctor or a professional can recommend it to you, which you are allowed to use it for a couple of days and discontinue using it. Otherwise, you can buy it anywhere or over the counter. So this information, you can be sure to get your cream without um, HQ. If you are in the UK, Great Britain, or you are in any EU so, um, country. Sometimes uh, a lot of people complain a lot. They use fair and white, and their skin is uh, reacting to it. Uh, they have sensitive skin. They have mm. just try to lower the extent you use this. The skin perfect, I mean, lower it and use the other moisturizer more often and see how it goes. So again, when I was um using this one, I don't like mixing my cream um creams gel whatever thing i just don't like mixing just my personal uh, preference i don't like mixing the only thing i did when i was using this one if at all i do is this i will make a, a separate video on this one to explain more on on it so as you can see um but this ones as i said i use them when i'm like running out that's why my cream i like to get it one or two so it takes me a bit uh, longer to use because i don't like uh, changing my cream if it's working for me but what again i like is incorporating moisturizer just normal moisturizer like in my cream it helps you know a lot if you're using fair and white out there just for you this is just like the truth in fair and white which some people do not know know that this cream has two it's two type but they are just the same it's just the same packaging the same everything but just here where they wrote skin perfecto that one is high that is my honest review like everything i know i can give you guys and one thing again if you want to buy make sure you get your cream from the uh, website despite if you're buying this one or the other one so now you know the truth about 
fair and white so white so you know so when you're getting it you know the one you're actually getting so that will be it i have come to the end of this video let me know what you guys think let me know if you think otherwise and if you like this video please go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i will see you all in my next video stay blessed stay beautiful and i love you all bye